people who smile. Just open a magazine or watch TV. Smiles, smiles, so many smiles. Mindless grins, toothy abominations, simian displays of tooth and gum. But what of the noble frown? In today's sad world, people frown for a variety of reasons. Political ruin, loneliness, gravity, bed bugs. To paraphrase Tolstoy, all smilers are alike, but each frowner frowns in his own way. Today, I am to share with you a few of their stories. I'm frowning because none of the machines in my apartment work anymore. The toaster was the last of all my machines to hold out. The television stopped working and my heater crapped out. The toaster was my last remaining mechanical friend. I felt a real kinship with all of them. It's the big things. It's the little things. What are the big things? They usually don't want to kiss me. Upon occasion, I have been kissed. Saturday night, I said to a lady, I would like to kiss you tonight. She said, I feel very weird because I smoke pot and I'm going to go home. People don't like a frown. Sometimes I try to smile in the bar in case that makes me attractive, it looks like. If I forget myself for a second, the frown's back. I am always frowning. You can't tell, can you? But I would rather have the happiness that a smile brought me. I've had this frown ever since my husband died. I killed him. I was sick of him. And since then, I've had no money. I don't pay my bills. Credit card companies are mad at me. Banks are mad at me. Con Ed is mad at me. Calliope Ray Stasis is one of the unfortunate people who frown, who has a frown so severe that it has driven her insane. Calliope is no longer verbal and can only communicate her displeasure through shrieks, moans, groans, and gestures. Her friends and family explained to me that the reason for her frown is bed bugs. Calliope could not handle the idea of bed bugs. She didn't have them, but the idea of them drove her to frown so much that she lost the ability to speak. Shortly after we filmed this disturbing segment, Calliope's family put her in a sanitarium. I visited her there, and as you will see from the next clip, she is thankfully improving, but she is still frowning and still quite afraid of bed bugs. I'm frowning behind my hair. I live in constant fear of bed bugs and lice. I have to be constantly vigilant. The leading cause of sudden frowning is a major negative life change. It could take the form of a divorce, a death, or more and more commonly, public humiliation. I was on a game show, and I lost. Giant pile of shit. Giant pile of shit is played by three contestants who all look at the same giant pile of shit, and they have to guess how much, how much it costs to buy all the food that made the shit. And my guess was $6,038. $6,040. Which normally I should have been able to win because the prize goes to whoever it's the closest without going over. But the twat to my left did me in after I put my estimate in and guessed 
$39. I've been having a hard time today. They know that I know hookers. I hate Republicans. I hate every single Republican, and now they're happy. I hate Republicans are happy. That's number two. A fake frown that the Republicans put on me to make me reminded that I'm sad. I don't have any future. Drove up to Harvard University to speak with Professor Kellogg Forsyth, who is the preeminent scholar in the new field of phrenology. Professor Forsyth, whose background lies in the related fields of psychology and plastic surgery, agreed to lend his expertise and a few moments of his time to this film. Well, I just want to say I've spent countless years studying these frowners, and they, they're not actually people. These frowners, they should not be frowning because they're not people. I myself am a smiler. People who frown are not people. To say they are frowning people, they're not actually people. They are actually little shits. Little shits. People who smile are people. People frown are little shits. They're not actually people. There is a process where if you Put it through sort of a, a grater, like a, like a cheese grater, to grate the turn. If you grate the shit, you might get someone who can't smile. I was born a smiler. I came right out of my mother, smiling. The doctor said when I came out of my mother, I looked just like this. Of course, I didn't have teeth. So when I smiled, it was more like this. Unfortunately, even someone as cheerful and dynamic as Dr. Forsyth can become overwhelmed with the depressing nature of frown work. A month after I met him in his office, I heard that Dr. Forsyth had finally caught a frown. I went to visit him in his home, and what I found was absolutely tragic. Sad. I peed. I know it's bad. Life used to be so easy. I rescue a lot of kittens. I'm sure they'd rather be rescued by someone who smiles. It's hard to drink. It's much more difficult to eat with a frown. I got kicked out of my grandmother's house on Thanksgiving. My nether regions have no emotions because they're long dead. I have a pee mouth. What's the difference between a heart laugh and a heart sob when you're frowning? At least now my outward appearance matches the way I feel inside. Is it about the frown that has captured so many imaginations? The romance, the intrigue, the aesthetic of a downturned mouth? It may be that we never find out, like so many other wonders of nature, like love, and subatomic particles, and kitties.